Let's replace the sun with the sun, but in 4 billion years? All right, let's do it. First things first, we increase the sun's mass to 10 times solar mass, then the radius to more than 200 times the sun's radius, and wow, is it getting big. Then we adjust the surface temperature to 1800 Kelvin, the luminosity to 2000 the sun's. And there we have it, the sun in its final stages. Mercury, Venus, and the Earth are engulfed in the sun. The sun's radius is almost one astronomical unit. Only Mars survives. But not for long. As we unpause the simulation, we see the sun starts to change temperature, size, mass, density, even spewing out red-hot gases into space. This is due to the sun's current unstable nature. Let's fast forward into the sun's last stage. A white dwarf. The sun as a white dwarf would have twice the solar mass, but would be the size of Earth. After billions of years, what's left is a white dwarf traveling alone through space until it burns out. 